This is a training video for the T-Bar controller uh, and it shows you how to use the um, setup items. Um, this, this device is relatively simple, it's got hardly anything on it. So um, we use the, um, the USB connector connected to a terminal and using uh, a pro terminal program like PuTTY. I'm going to open up um, a PuTTY program here. So this is the PuTTY screen. So what we need to do is we need to select as a, term, a set a serial, change it to the COM port that the computers recognise it on mine. It's recognise it as COM seven, and then we set the board rate to double one five two hundred. Um, so they're the they're the settings that we want. The only other thing I'm going to do for the benefit of this video is I'm just going to set the appearance uh, to a larger font so we can see the fonts a bit better. Um, so I'm just changing that and then I can click open and um, what that does is now it's opening up a putty window a terminal window and as it first boots up it uh, shows you relative information about the um, the device uh, and then it then it um, shows you trying to connect to ATEM and then this is the um, this is data going backwards and forwards from the ATEM which means nothing to the terminal program here um, so subsequently it's um, just garbage um, so once once you've read the information if you wanted to you don't need to do it uh, you, cl you can close the terminal window but in this case I'm just going to press hang up and then um, uh, this is the information that it originally showed um, so if you ever need tech support I might ask for information that's shown up here but it tells you the software version and the serial number of the device um, so Basically, um, to enter in terminal, uh, sorry, to enter in setup mode, you need to be in terminal. And um, and as you as you've seen, as this thing started up, it's gone straight into talking to the ATEM, um, and then um, finished with using the terminal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart, um, restart the session, um, and it'll reboot the um, the T bar controller, um, and. There it is, started up again. Now, if you hold your finger on, while it's running, if you hold your finger on the cut button and then hold your finger down on the auto trans, it does a reboot. And you can see here it is rebooting. And now I'm holding my finger down on the cut button, as you can see here. So as it boots up, it enters the setup mode. And here we are, we're in the setup mode. And um, it's now saying release cut button and use the T-bar to select the function. So as I take my finger off the cut button, uh, it's now telling us that the menu item selected is um, uh, select mix effects row. So for me to select the menu item that I want to adjust, you just adjust the uh, T-bar position. And as you can see, I'm, as I'm moving it up, it's it's finding the, the four or currently four available menu items. So uh, it's right at the very bottom. We can select the uh, which effects, mix effects row we're going to use. If we get slightly go up, we can adjust the low lead brightness. As we go a bit further, we can adjust the high lead brightness. And then if we go all the way up, we can turn on and off the status indication, uh, which I've talked about in a previous video. So once you select the menu item, I'm going to go down to say the mix effects row. Um, I now to enter the adjustment for which mix effects row I want to use, um, you just press the cut button to enter that mode. So as I press the cut button, it's now gone into um, select mix effects row, and then we now move the T bar to select the required mix effects row. And as you can see at the moment, it's selected ME1. Um, so as I move the cursor up, you'll see it goes to ME2, ME3, and ME4. So I just wanted to use ME, say ME2. So I'll just move the cursor down to ME2. So that's now setting, set on ME2. Um, and once I've set that, I can then press the cut button to enter it. And we can go and do other adjustments if we want. Um, or we can um, hit the auto trans button to then enter the setup mode. And as I do that, you'll see it exits the setup mode. Uh, and now it's actually talking to the ATEM and um, just another little interesting thing that I haven't mentioned before 
the T-bar doesn't come into effect until it's all the way down the bottom. So if you um, start up the um, T-bar controller with the T-bar at the top, it won't change any values on your ATEM until the T-bar is down the bottom. So um, you can see here's a 2ME um, ATEM, and if I, I'm going to pull the T-bar all the way down, and you'll see there's no change happening at all on the uh, ATEM, but now it's at the bottom, it's now engaged. So as I move the T-bar up, you'll see the T-bar the on the ATEM is changing, and what's more, it's changing on, <coughs> excuse me, it's changing on ME2. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to uh, reset uh, the unit and um, and now it's resetting. I'm holding down on the um, the cut button and now um, take my finger off to go in um, and I'm going to move the move the T bar down to the menu item that I want. Select mix effects row and I press cut to enter that. And now I'm going to change this so that it's on ME1. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to hit the cut button to enter it. And then I'm going to hit the auto trans button to exit. And now we're going back out. It's already, con it's already connected back to the ATEM. It does that inst almost instantaneously. And now as I move the T-bar, you'll see it's mix, mix effects one that's operating. Now I haven't tried um, ME3 and ME4, even though you can select it. So if somebody wants to, if they've got a 4ME ATEM, just try it and let me know if it works or not because um, I've only just written it all in theory. So let's go back to the menu item again um, and just you know, reset. And um, you'll see now it's reset. I'm holding my finger down on the uh, cut button. I can release the cut button now. Um, and now I'm going to select the next item that we can change so we can We've already done the mix effects row. The next item is the set low lead brightness. Um, so we can then um, press the uh, cut button to enter in setting the brightness. And as I do that, as you move the, the T-bar up and down, you can see the brightness is, is changing. Um, so I can go all the way up. Um, or I can bring it all, all down. So this is the actual brightness that these these uh, four LEDs will show when the LED is turned off. So you're going to have it off all the way if you want, or you can just give it just a really slight brightness so that you kind of know that the power's on. Um, and the screen is actually showing you the percentage of the brightness. So as I move the brightness up and down, you can um, see it's um, um, it's changing the value. It's jumping around a bit because I'm not using the, um, th this is using rough mode, uh, rough values. When the T-bar is actually used for the ATEM, it, go it uses a, a very big algorithm to uh, average out and make sure there's no jumping, which you would notice when you use it. So once, I'm, once I've set the, um, uh, that value, I can now press uh, the cut button to enter it, and it'll then come back to the menu items. Now I can set the, um, the high brightness and doing the same thing we'll press the cut button and you can see the again the same thing now the, this these is the brightness of the LEDs when they are um, enabled or when they're turned on so once I've got the value set there I can then press the um, the uh, cut button and you can see we're sitting on the cusp of a fader value there so I just move it up a bit uh, and then the fourth item is um, um, set the cut status indicator on or off. You can also do that within the program just by holding your finger down on the cut button. But you can also set it here. And again, we can do the same thing here. We just press the cut button to enter. And you can see it says it's on. And there's only two states, on or off. So you can move the cursor from one end to the other, on or off. And, um, and that's the value that it'll accept. So once you've done that, you can um, press the um, cut button again, and then we want to go back to normal operation. So we can just press the auto trans to exit and go back to normal operation. And you can see now it's all going back. Now, once, you, um, once you've finished using the terminal um, for any setup, or if you just want to look at um, stuff for tech support, you can, just, you can just close it. You don't need it. 
you don't need it anymore we can shut it down and now the device can can be used in in normal operation um, and there it goes um, just remember that if you want to um, if you want to use or go back and do setup again you need to open up the terminal window before you can do it because that's where all the stuff is displayed i hope that's uh, been some help some little bit of um, training for you